I've got to be alert because it's windy and if you blow over, I've got to, I've got to do me David, I've got to do me cat-like David Seaman dive to get you before you fall down cliff because I'm on cliff. Regarde la cliff. It's been a while since I've seen Big Blue and it's forecast nice weather so hopefully the aim of the, the whole trip is just to see the sun rise out of the sea which I just love. Oh, <laughs> see? You nearly went, mate. You nearly went what you like. Oh, no. Bambi on cat. Look at you. Let's get tent up. Let's get give it one of these, eh? Urgh. There she is. <sighs> dome away from dome. Oh, mate, I am no longer going to be feeling apologetic or guilty or anything for this tent. I love it and I've earned it. I'm lying, I haven't earned it. It was given to me by people who love me and care about me. And so it means a lot to me. Yeah, it means the world to me and I'm gonna I'm gonna treat it like that as well. It's nice to get the sleeping bag out early doors. So you can get a bit of uh, get a bit of wind in its sails. <laughs> That's me happy that. That's me as chuffed as a dog with two knobs. Let me show you round the uh, round the uh, den look uh, my cut kit and my pan uh, neck knife fire steel water and a lovely bottle of melbeck look because why not i've got the sea to summit pillow i was i was trialing that pillow out last time that someone kindly gifted to me it's from decathlon it's an excellent pillow I gave Joey D one, he's going to be using it as his full time pillow and he said he couldn't rate it enough, he loved it but for me, there's only one winner and it's me Sea to Summit pillow I'm still in the Alp kit, free season we're in arse end of January now so chances are we'll make it through another year with it um, the Alp kit, Hunker XL, bivy bag over the top because I was expecting a little bit of condensation, I just wanted to keep the moisture off my bag. Xtherm, Neoair, large one. And then I've got my softies, army softies, my schmaug, just some gloves, a snood. That's it, mate. And then, come in here. Oh, comes in ears. There you are. Shit, well, look at that. Get one of them shots, look. <laughs> Jolly good. That's my view and hopefully that view, hopefully in the morning will have the sun popping its head out of here somewhere. Peaceful like. And that's it. That's me set up. Uh, I've brought um, I've brought some nice food to cook up. I'm, I'm not going to tell you what I'm going to do, and then I'm. It's the same shit everyone does, doesn't it? In it, who films himself camping? I mean, what even is this? What even am I doing? Do you know what I mean? There's just a, like an influx of fully grown men and women, me included, just going out. 
and filming themselves outdoors, camping or cooking or building a den. <laughs> but if I told my granddad, what what do you do? What what's your? Oh. Alright, granddad. Yeah, I'm off to woods. What are you doing? Well, I'm going to build a den. Are you 12? No, granddad. But I'm going to go build a den anyway. You're a fully grown adult. I know, but I am going to film it and put it on the internet. All right then, that's fine. On your way. Oh, and I do this. I'm filming myself on me going camping. That, but I can't watch anyone. Oh no, I don't watch anyone else. That's tight, maybe, isn't it? But it's tight. But it's just oh, I can't. It's oversaturated. I get people tag me and send me videos and stuff. And I can't cope anymore. Uh, I'm, I'll maybe get back into it in the future, but I'm out. I'm out. And also, it, it, it knackers up my creativity as well. Because so I'll watch people doing it, and then I'll, it'll, it'll, without me knowing it, it affects what I do. And I don't want to try and be original and not, um, I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say, but this is what this video is going to be about, just me waffling. I really wanted to mention this. It's the uh, Aklima merino wool hoodie oh, they're a nordic company who make just the highest quality merino wool and outdoor gear and um this is from nordic outdoors um, i got my hilleberg from nordic outdoors and from then on we had a few back and forth and they're excellent they're you know similar to northern monk just it's not a massive chain or anything so I'm, I'm more than happy to support Nordic Outdoors and they sent me this this top and I've been trialling it. I've took it, out, took it out on some right adventures and it is just, it's amazing. I've got now on underneath it, it's got the zips that go right the way through. It's got two zips here. This is where it gets, look, <laughs> bit of cleavage for dads. And then it's got a zip that brings it down. And best thing, right, is this. It's got, I don't know if you can see through that mesh there. So you can still breathe but cover your face and it's got a hood that goes all the way over for you know if you've got a climbing helmet a bike helmet or anything oh you just want to keep your lugs warm mate and then it can come all the way off if that's sort of suffocating you whatever that goes all the way back over there and it just becomes a normal top ring pull from my first beer that's all i'll put a link in the in uh to this particular clothing item of clothing and also put a link to nordic outdoors uh please go show them some support uh, follow them on instagram as well they share some really good content and if you're into this sort of stuff then they're just the perfect company for you can you see me and hear me oh or at least yeah both <laughs> can you feel do you feel me bro um i'm still up it's got dark um I was gonna, oh, you can't see shit in my head. My new head torch is a, is a charger one and it must have been left on, <clears throat> so it's run out of battery. So I don't have an head torch. I've only got my secondary emergency light, which is a new tiny, and that's all I've got. Like a bunch of cod heads have just turned up, started fishing right next to me. We'll live with it. I might even go and have a little natter with them. The, the wind's picked up, and now these, um, these cod heads are fishing. I probably won't get a fire going. <coughs> Um, which is good because I've got my gas as well and I've got a camping meal as a backup so torch broke back up can't use stove got back up Dinner's served, that's just some <coughs> just steak and vegetables. CBA mate, because you can't see me look. You can just see me beak and my eye or something like that. <laughs> I don't know. Turn this into a lantern actually. Can you wait there? Uh, look at that. Lantern. There you go. Does that help? Turned it into a lantern? Doesn't help, does it? Lantern deck. 
let's set sail. Set sail on the good ship Melbeck. Candle, bottle of wine. And they say romance is dead. Not around these parts, kid. Not around these parts. There you go, I've switched it. I've switched to me other camera. Which is loads better in low light. Look at that, even with this little pissy torch, it's uh, too bright. And look, do it, look, look. Lantern mode, look at that. That's pretty good. And I'll tell you what. I guess this is what you learn with experience is just bringing two of everything because it's really helped me out here on a number of occasions on this camp just bringing two of everything and having little backups here and there um, I can't, like this little magnet light never use it, it's just in my kit but it's come in it's paid for itself it's paid for itself I don't even know where I got it from so if I can remember or if I can find out I'll put a link below for it quality little bit of a uh, bit of illumination and then oh, so it turns out one of the fisher dudes walked past and he was like oh are you Hayes Outdoors it turns out him and his fisherman friends watch my video so shout out Tomo and shout out the Slights crew oh, big up big up Tomo and the Slights crew they're just over there I might go and have a word with them then in that case you'll be on it but you'll probably be on time lapse as well Tomo to be fair, I'll slow it down, mate. Tag you. I'm having a cuppa. Having a cuppa, then going to bed. So I went over and had a little, uh, a little chat to the codheads, as I called them, who were actually sound. And uh, so shout out Tomo and the Slights boys, and especially Master Oral. Uh, who is someone that I know <laughs> that, I've, that I know of and so it was a lovely little interaction and I left them I had a surplus of uh, kindling so I left them some kindling for their fire and wished them tight lines because they were fishing for cod and I've come home home to me tent my cosy little tent <sighs> Well, unless something magical or tragical happens, I shall see thee on the morons. Ugh. Happy to have a bit of cotton wool on me, bit of got a little bit of Vaseline on it as well. So shoot a few of these onto it. Get on, get it. Sit it on there, lucky. Quality bacon. The surf is up, look at it. No wonder there's a few surfers in. Early morning, dedication, that's what I like lads. Shout out you lads. <laughs> One of them might even be my mate, I might go down and see who it is. Only woke up maybe once or twice to have a piss and that was it. That's what bottle of vino will do for you though. <laughs> Bacon, eggs, avocado. Thank <laughs> you. 
Right, let's get tent put away with crotch shot. Boom. Ugh. I had my bush box on this mud here and it's, there's no trace at all. Right, that's where I'm heading, so... Let's, uh, let's fast track do one of these. There we go, look. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> it's frothing, mate. Foaming at the gams, but that is... Might be a little bit dangerous to get in there. Nah. No, no, no. I thought about it, I did think about it, but it's also on a slope, so... And in my little pants in winter, if I was to slip on that slope, or if the receding tide, woohoo! Just took my legs from under me, that's it. I can't, I'm a strong swimmer, but I'm no match for that in winter. Even I know that, so... We'll live to fight another day. We'll take it inland. Until next time, let's go and dunk the junk in some uh, uh, some still water. Uh, here I am. Look at these lads following me. Gone. Get gone. Go on, lads, because I'm. I can't have you. Can't have you looking at me in my pants. Go on. Not for, not for the faint hearted. Yeah. <laughs> Especially after I've put a bit of Christmas timber on. Oh. Fat Santa, sort it out. <laughs> I know it's cold, I know it is. Cause there's, look, come and have a look at this there. Look. Can I get in and out? Looks alright, looks legit. Let's have a, looks alright anyway. Let's go and have a see. Can I get back out? And how deep is it? Ow! What are these th ah, thistles on the floor doing? Probably the coldest of it, the coldest bit of water I've ever. Oh, I don't know how deep it is either. Oh, right, okay. Oh. 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 oh, it's squelchy. It's squelchy, there's a bit of rock. I mean, I mean, oh, I mean, I think. Oh, mate, it's deeper than I. Oh. oh. Yeah, if you're gonna do it, mate, just do it, yeah? If you're gonna do it, do it right. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <sighs> Woo! <sighs> yeah! Oh, it's freezing. I have to go this way. I can't feel my feet. Ah! Right, mate. Oh, he's talking to sheep. <laughs> All the feeding, am I there? Aye. Uh, feeding sheep, look, yeah. I thought he was talking to me, lad up here, in <laughs> John Deere. Oh. I thought he was talking to me, he's going, up, up. <laughs> oh, what are they chucking for? A bit of fodder beat. A bit of fodder beat for, for, uh, for sheep. That's why they came down to me, because it's probably feeding time and 
They thought I might have had some fodder beating back pocket. <laughs> I wonder what they make of me, them farmer lads there. And I've just been in, look. <laughs> just in duds now. I was fully just in speedos. Ah, funny that. That is funny. Put you back down there. Eh? Oh, all right, let's get this, wrap this up, man. <sighs> Gotta wait till farmers go, don't I? I'm gonna wait till farmers go before I can fully take these off. Oh, so I'm doing it now. I'm going, going for it. <laughs> Didn't even ask me if I was all right or not, or if I was, if I was mentally unwell. I can't feel my toes or my fingers, but ah, the rest of me, I think I can get used to it. I can get used to it. I just don't like to push myself if I'm on my own, you see. I don't want to... No point me doing wild swimming health and safety videos and then dying on my next trip out, is it? That's... Oh, yeah, man. Never want it W's. Never want it win column for it, dudes. Get on. Oh. Get in there. Peaceful, mate. What a lovely way to spend a Sunday morning in me Yorkshire. Uh, big up the lads that I met last night who uh, who watched the channel, and it's either Joe or Bill Oral. Shout out you, mate. It was good to see you. And Tomo, I think his name was, and the Slights crew. And lovely to wake up and watch the sunrise. That was the plan and I've achieved it. Achieve your goals, even if they're just little, like watching the sunrise or eating a bowl of cornflakes in your underpants. If that's a goal for you, achieve it. <laughs> oh well, yeah. Stick duds on the shoulder to dry out a bit. And, uh, and thanks for watching. Look after yourselves, take care of yourselves. Namast Hayes. Come on. <laughs> See ya. Love you. Bye. I'm like Jordan trying to rise on to the dunk Now I'm trying to be an icon from the jump. They were warding. I let bygones be bygones. Cut these bars till they're gone by by the month. Me, I'm trying to be an icon from the jump. They were warding. I let bygones be bygones. Cut these bars till they're gone by by the month.